Happy holidays. Today what we're going to do is go over all the scales in 10 minutes. So let's get started. C is our ocean where all rivers flow to. That is the center note. This is the tonic home bass. Now I'm saying it because we want to hear everything in that respect. This is the sound of C major scale, a sound you heard many a times. I'm going to take this E natural and change it into E flat and then I'm getting this sound. This is what we call melodic minor. Check this out again. This is C melodic minor. The only difference between C major and C melodic minor is that the 3, the E, is no longer E natural but it's E flat. It's very simple. So again, if we know the shape and the sound of C major, we can simply adjust it to C melodic minor. Okay, next what we're going to do is take that C melodic minor and adjust one more note. So I'm going to take the note of the sixth, the sixth note, the A natural, and adjust it into A flat. So I'll get this sound, which we call harmonic minor. Check out this color. And the sound you know. It's beautiful because it's actually so close to a lot of things you know. Ooh, I'm releasing my album Dream Louder on January 12th. Please pre-save, that would mean a lot. Also, if you are in New York, come to the release show. We're playing the show Friday the 19th at New Blue. It will be a blast. Tickets here. Thank you. So we can take that sound and adjust it even more where we get the natural minor. The natural minor is basically this sound. One, two, three, flat three, four, five, flat six but now flat seven so again just this color and feeling the scissors and You can also take the family of major and start adjusting things there. Simple, right? I'm taking my C major scale and I'm adjusting the F natural, the 4 to the sharp 4, so I get this sound. 1, 2, 3, sharp 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. And that is the color that we know like that. really really beautiful and very useful as well and what's cool about it is again it's very simple we just come out from that C major and adjusting if you're feeling out this video please hit smash the like button and drop a comment why not just say something I want to hear I'll respond thanks another important adjustment is taking the 7 the B natural into B flat in that case we'll get this sound and it's the sound of a dominant call it dominant scale also known as mixolydian so again hear it on the C let's hear two octaves this is again coming from C you see how simple it is what happens if you take that sound of the mixolydian but now we're going to take the sharp four as well so we'll get mixolydian sharp four check this out one two three sharp four and a flat seven it's really cool all i'm doing is adjusting one note at a time and i'm counting on the idea that i know the notes and I have a clear idea of the C major scale position, which I believe a lot of us have. If that's not completely clear, you can check out this workshop to go over all the positions with a lot of clarity. Let's go back to the minor family for a second. So we have this sound of the natural minor, what we call Aeolian. And what happens if I take this note, the two, and make a flat two? We'll get what we call Phrygian. Check this out.
really really cool sound again check this color one more time i use neural dsp on every recording i make i think their sound is beautiful and it's very very flexible to get whatever you need even if you don't have an app and i actually oftentimes use direct when i do recordings as well and i can only do it because i use the neural dsp which sounds amazing they just released a whole bunch of new plugins that sounds absolutely amazing i just checked it out and i think you'll dig it check it out really really beautiful and that's again just adjusting one out at a time we have another option with the minor and that is to play the dorian and that will sound like this one two flat three four five six flat seven one this is the sound again for the center one two flat three four five six flat seven one or here you can play it here that color also beautiful all these sounds like you see are anchored in that C in that tonic note and I'm feeling all the notes in relationship the question is always what is being adjusted what is the color sound of the two versus the flat two when I'm listening again to that Phrygian sound very specific color the same way that when I'm listening to the C and I'm imagining a dominant sound, what we call a mixolydian, just C major with a flat seven. I get a very specific color. Now, all these sounds, sounds or feel at a time, or at least that's how I felt, was overwhelming for me. But what I'm trying to show here is how simple and beautiful the process is because all you need to do is know C major and then slowly but surely start branching out to these families of major, minor, dominant and start seeing these colors and start exploring, quite literally exploring. And you don't need to do everything at once. First, the realization there are so many beautiful colors and so much to explore is really exciting. The second thing is there's also a universe that you can find by yourself because you can adjust more things if you wanted to. This is not all the information in the universe about scales, right? So there are more scales, there are more exotic things, but we need to see the process. There are a few more special things I want to talk about here. So one very common scale that we all know is the major pentatonic. So what happens there, because we only have five notes, penta, what we're doing there is taking the C major scale and dropping two notes. We're dropping the four and we're dropping the seven. So we get this sound, one, two, three, five, six, one. Beautiful, two octaves. Now the same way we can also use the minor pentatonic. The minor pentatonic does something a little different. Let's go back to our natural minor sound. And here what we're going to do is one flat three, four, five, flat seven, one. So it will sound like this. And five notes, one flat three, four, five, flat seven and one. Two octaves. Keep repeating these numbers and those notes because I want you to not only know the position but also know the notes that you're playing the relationship the sound color and how it actually feels once you tag things on an emotional level it will be way way easier to memorize it and then therefore use it when you're writing when you're soloing, when you're creating and that's beautiful that's a part of guitar and music one of the best ways to work on all these sounds and colors is taking one position of C major as a template, understanding the notes in a very clear way, and then choosing one color. And then saying, okay, now I'm playing C dominant, two octaves, while knowing what I'm doing quite clearly. So I'm seeing the B flat here, and seeing the B flat, seeing what I'm adjusting and listening to the sound, etc. Et and then I can say, ah, let me play it here, just C major scale. And then, ah, C dominant would sound. Now 
Now, all these colors are just a part of the music creation. So the more we're flexible, the more we hear, the more we know the fingerings and our sound, or I would say our ears and fingers are more interconnected, interconnected, we can create with more ease, we'll be more free. So check it out, have a blast. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you very soon. Peace. There are also a few beautiful symmetric scales. This one is called the whole tone scale, which is basically going whole steps. You can go in position with sound like this. In the same way, we can play whole steps. We can decide on a combination of half and whole. For example, the scale is called half whole scale, and this is what we call a diminished scale. This is the sound of the half whole scale. Very, very beautiful, very bitey. It's connected to that harsh sound. The same way we can play half whole, we can also play whole half. For example, if I have the chord C diminished, it'd be pretty great to play whole half. On that sound. Now, there are a lot of sounds you can use it on, but this is a beautiful option. Wanted to wish you very, very, very happy holidays. So, thanks again for hanging. Appreciate it. Much love. Peace.